Here's the chart for the orange menace showing the planetary positions in the fall of 2016 and importantly and specifically October 7th was the date of the release of the infamous Access Hollywood recording in which he is heard to say some really awful things about women and how he relates to them and so forth. And what's important about that is that right around that time, you can see Mars and Jupiter transiting in square to each other, Capricorn and Libra. There's the Jupiter and there's the Mars. And in so doing, in those degrees, they are triggering his T-square formed by Neptune, Eris, and Mercury, because that T-square encompasses degrees starting with the Neptune just under six, then Eris a little over six, and Neptune, or pardon me, Mercury approaching nine degrees. So essentially, planets traveling from the fifth degree or so to the tenth degree trigger this T-square. And so when I saw this, I decided to call this T-square for fun and for future remembrance, so to speak, the Access Hollywood T-square. And so here we have uh, Mars and Jupiter, and now it is coming out in the trial. And in fact, the key event is October 7th, They're both at six, seven degrees. Mars remains at those degrees until about the 13th or so. By the time you get to the 11, 10, 11 degree range, it's moving beyond the T-square. Jupiter, though, continued in those degrees till the end of the month. And this correlates with the mad flurry that we are now hearing about regarding the transactions in the background. They were desperately trying to figure out how to pay off Stormy Daniels, Karen McDougall, because this event, this release, was a pretty bad thing. Everyone thought it was over because of this. However, if more bad news were to come out, it would have made it worse. And so keeping those women silent was priority one. And so then they mobilized all the resources, including at the time Michael Cohen, the National Enquirer, David Pecker, Davis and the lawyer, the whole crew, in an attempt to cover it up and make sure that these women didn't surface before the election. So, bottom line, Mars, when it goes through there, really any planet, but certainly Mars is a problem because it triggers the Axis Hollywood T. Now, when we switch to current times, we get this map and where Mars was here before and has been in Libra over the last few years and in Cancer and in Aries, indeed, more than once, because Mars has a two-year cycle. What I've noticed is Mars goes through here, 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 or here, and he doesn't like it. Things get worse. His own temperament rages. It's a very uncomfortable place for him. So here we are with Mars entering these degrees next week, May 7th, the Tuesday next week. If the pattern continues, the trial is being held Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday is a day off, but Wednesday is when a lot of the news from Tuesday are covered and so forth. So we see Mars entering the fifth degree on Tuesday. Possibly already by the by the Monday, it could have some effect. Four degrees is getting pretty close to this energy, but certainly Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, until it reaches the end, which is approximately the following Tuesday. In the middle of that, there's also Mercury to consider because Mercury at that time is itself also in Aries. And in that case, what it's doing is it's getting into these degrees of Aries where it joins the Eris transit, which currently is squaring in this direction, Saturn, Venus, the Saturn Venus conjunction, but especially the Venus, Venus being his, his career sign, his reputation and so forth. So this Mercury will increase the effect. It acts as a as an extra trigger. And of course, these two by themselves, one or the other or both, might not be enough in other circumstances to signify anything all that big. But because the Saturn cycle is so unfriendly in, in Pisces where it is heading to a peak down here at the end of June when it stations, thereby making mid-June to mid-July a difficult period. Um, but we have the Saturn, we have Neptune, super late in Pisces, in a 150 to the Ascendant. We have the Eris, as already mentioned, 
wired in in a square. And we can throw in the black moon, you know, for the sordid stuff, the shadowy stuff, the taboo stuff. Uh, currently, and even into next week, it's in Virgo in here, pardon me, in here. And you can count it as a square to the sun still, and therefore correlating nicely with the dirt surface. So, bottom line, next week we are almost certain to see some really salacious material surface, and we are almost certain to see an especially bad reaction from the sky if such a thing is possible, since his usual reaction is anything from, you know, awful to intolerable, but such is life uh, when it comes to the orange menace. And in regard to his discomfort that he is going to experience, once again, couldn't happen to a nicer guy.